All right, how does this stupid thing work? It says I'm supposed to be able to buy these now. I'm not exactly sure where to put it. Do I use it as like a, can I clean with it? It's got a sticky side. You might put it down somewhere. Why, why would I need one of these? I, I don't, I don't understand. Hey guys, welcome back to the Conservative Patriot. My name's Keith. Hope you guys are doing well tonight. Wow, my lights are, are turning on and turning off and in my garage, if you guys couldn't tell. I'm sitting in my Saab convertible, 1993 edition, and I was doing some work on it, and I got to thinking about you know what I heard today and whether or not it was accurate or not. And Hold that thought. I'm going to go turn on one of my lights. I'll be right back. I don't know why I turned off. Stay right there. So I am I am back, guys. Sorry about that. Had to turn the light on. Not sure why it went off. But so I'm thinking today, um, as I'm out here working on my car, trying to... It just needs some work to, to get it where I want it to be. It needs some engine stuff done and some cosmetic stuff, but not nothing too crazy. But anyways, so I'm out here thinking about something that I heard today, or, and I saw it today, and I'm like, man, I'm late to the game on this one, but I, I don't think this got a lot of airplay. Did you guys hear about Procter & Gamble taking the Venus symbol, which is the female symbol, off of their always feminine products? Because a transgender woman, man, I'm not sure who it was said that it was not inclusive who the hell are you trying to include i believe that women biological women use this product i know that i have no use for it i mean maybe i can buy some and stick it in my shoes as cushy insoles with the padded bottom i don't know or maybe i can use it to um, soak up some grease in my car I don't know why I would be part of their target audience now. Um, or a transgender male. I think I get this confused. If you're a transgender male, does that mean you're trying? You're a woman trying to be a guy? And if you're a transgender woman, you're a guy trying to be a woman? I'm not sure. Either way, if I'm a guy who's trying to be a woman, why the hell would I need it? Because... I don't have the hardware. I'm sorry to say, and even if that guy does transition fully into a woman, his parts aren't going to be working biologically to utilize these products. It's a mystery, and I don't know why that they would kowtow to this transgender lobby or person, whomever it was, um, because they think they're not being inclusive. I got news for you, Procter & Gamble. You don't need to be inclusive. It's for women only. I'm not going to use them. Like I said, I mean, if you're going to take it off, maybe I could stick them in my shoes like insults. I don't know. You know, does it, I mean, that thick of a thing, I don't, it's got a sticky bottom. I don't know. I, I don't know. I stole my wife's to show you a point or prove a point. I don't know what I'm doing. Why would I need a feminine hygiene product as a male or a transgender person? Why would I ever need one? And why would I want to feel included into something that has no biological function or no 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 function for me at all? I mean, maybe I can dab my, my sweat with it. Uh, maybe I can keep a couple in my glove box. Just in case I run out of napkins, I don't, I, I don't know. I don't know. And it's baffling to me that a company as large as Procter & Gamble would kowtow to this person in their lobby. Because the person who did it, I believe, 
is a biological female. So she already needs them. But she's telling them, hey, you need to take off that Venus symbol because you're not being inclusive to all of the females. Meaning the wannabe females, the females whose pronouns are wrong, the guys whose pronouns are now female, or Zed, or they, or Zippy, or Zappy. I, I don't understand. <laughs> I don't get it. I honestly don't get it. Keep the female sign on there. Don't keep it on there. Either way, it's got its use. We know what it's for. I thought we knew what it was for. Maybe I don't know what it was for. Maybe I do need them. Shit. I don't know. Maybe maybe this is part of their marketing plan. Maybe now, maybe they'll put like a um, maybe they'll put like a picture of a race car on it now, and more guys will buy them. Um, and we'll stick them in our cars, and or maybe we'll put them underneath, like when we're changing the oil to absorb any of the shit. We'll just lay a big pile of them out there, and they'll absorb um, any any of the oil that misses the oil pan. Got a beer. That's an idea. They should target NASCAR. Maybe NASCAR will buy them by the bucket loads, and they'll hand them out to all their mechanics. And they'll just scatter them out on the ground like, like, um, um, you know, like that, that clay that soaks up all the oil. Instead of using that clay, we'll start using Kotex. Not, can't say Kotex. We'll start using always. Always includes everybody. I, I, st I this is still mind blowing. And it sounds so ridiculous coming out of my mouth that this actually happened. One person, one person turned the course of an entire company's um, marketing packaging, I guess. I just don't get it. I, I, I think there's going to be feminists out there going, why do you need, why do we need to include everybody? We fought for, for, for our rights as women to have our own stuff. We got our own shit, man. And this is one of them. And now you want to include everybody? To, to you want to say, hey, these aren't just for women anymore. Have at it, guys. Have at it, gals. Have at it, transgender. Have at it, non. Have at it, non-binary. Have at it, they, 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 Skippy. She, it, whatever. Go for it, man. If you guys all want feminine napkins or maxi pads, whatever the hell they're called, you can now buy them for yourselves. No shame anymore in going to the supermarket and going, it's for my wife. Really? Hide my face. I'm buying these for my wife. Don't look at me. I'm embarrassed. No. Don't need to be embarrassed anymore, dudes. We can just go to the store and buy them for us. These are now male products. I knew it. I knew there was a reason behind this. We figured it out. It's their master plan. They've been trying to hold the guys down by not letting us use these stupid things. I'm going to put a pile of it in my pocket. I'm going to walk around town with a handful of always. And you know what? I'm going to walk into a subway. I'm going to eat my grinder. I'm going to wipe my face like this with a maxi pad. You know why? Because that's the only place I can figure out that I'll be able to use it. There's no other bodily function. I mean, I'll, I'll drool. Maybe I'll catch it in my drool. Um, maybe if I'm crying, I can like, and, like wipe my tears with it. Um, I'm not sure. And I know I'm rambling on, and I'm rambling on. It's because this makes zero sense to me. And I'm scared for our world. When we have gone this fucking nuts about a goddamn maxi pad that has to take the, the feminine symbol off of it, the Venus symbol off of it, because you're offending transgender people. You're not being inclusive. Well, fucking Christ, goddamn. I swear to God. Inclusive for what? It's meant for one one gender, man. Remember, there's only two genders. Oh, wait a minute. No, there's not. There's fucking 500 according to the goddamn transgender world. There's like a million of them. You can be whoever the hell you want to be. I'm a fucking rhinoceros hippo woman. I, I don't know. Does that make sense to you? No, but whatever. I digress. There's two genders. 
this is meant for one one gender. I'm sorry. That's the way it is. Leave me your comments below. I went on this weird rant. It's just a weird subject. Do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit the bell icon. Give me a big thumbs up. And hopefully tomorrow I'll be in a better frame of mind because this just screwed me right up today. I still can't believe it. I gotta go put spark plugs in this car. Talk to you guys later. Have a great night. Always remember to stay on the right side.